Hit that pause button and see if you can figure it out. When you're ready, hit play and I'll give you the explanation. All right, so when we look at something like this, we look at 100 and we know that the factors are like 2, 5, 10, 1, etc., 20, so on and so forth, 25. So nothing with 7, right? So what do we have to do as a result? We have to modify these numbers. So this is one solution. There might be more, but it says any non-numerical symbols. Well, guess what? I can add some decimals in here, right? So I can make that 0.7. I can make that 0.7. Why is that beneficial? Because now I can throw in a division. Check this out. What's 7 divided by 0.7? That's going to give me 10, right? 7 divided by 7 is 1, but 7 divided by 0.7 is going to give me 10. And that's really cool because if I do it again, 7 divided by 0.7, I get another 10. Now I just multiply 10 by 10 and guess what? We get 100. So that's how you do it. Thank you guys so much for joining and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.